where do you feel as though Alzheimer's research has made the most strides over the past few years? I think it's clear that the use of biomarkers has been so informative uh, in terms of helping us to know whether the drugs are working and whether they're working on the biology that we're trying to target. So although we do not have a new approved drug yet, we can see both from the trials and the biomarkers in the trials that we're definitely affecting the brain in the way we want. What, tr what trends did you identify um, in your pipeline review? And, and were there anything that stuck out to you or anything that was more promising that, that you had noticed um, for those specific trends? Yeah, there were very interesting trends, Marco, both positive and negative. So a negative trend was that over the past few years, uh, we've had a lot of enthusiasm for a class of drugs that inhibit the enzymes that, that uh, make the toxic protein amyloid in the brain of the Alzheimer patient. And we really thought those drugs were going to work. And we had five of them in the pipeline over the last few years. And every one of them either failed or was shown to be toxic and to further impair cognition in patients with Alzheimer's disease. So that's a very important lesson. And all of those enzyme inhibitors have now fallen out of clinical trials. So that was a dramatic trend. On the other hand, what we see is a uh, trend towards success uh, in the monoclonal antibodies that are targeting amyloid. Uh, so that we have aducanumab, which is a biogen product that is making progress. We have BAN2401, which is an ASI product that's making progress, and gantanerumab, which is a Roche product. That, and they all are monoclonal antibodies that target amyloid. They all reduce this protein in the brain, and they all have preliminary evidence of either biomarker or clinical benefit. 